Hey, what's going on guys? It's Teak and Season 3, Episode 4 of The Walking Dead just aired tonight. Now, if you haven't seen this episode or, or any of the previous episodes, don't watch this video. Now, before I get started about talking about the episode, I always like to start off with a question. And this week's question was going to be, would the group be better off without Lori? And, yeah, I can't really ask that anymore. But, new question, would the group be better off without Carl? So, the this was a very a very sad episode and I um I'm still a little bit in shock. So the uh the episode starts off with a gas can and a deer. We see somebody picking both of them up. Okay, and it shows the person luring some zombies out away from a gate with the deer. I don't know what the hell the gas can was for, why they needed the gas can, but then they break open the fence and we see that they had a um we see that they were an African American. Okay, they had a black hand and they dropped like a heart or something. So, my first thought it could be either of two people. It could be Morgan or Andrew. Morgan is the guy that we've seen very first episode who helped out Rick, took him in as Morgan and his son. Or Andrew, who was in episode two of season three, where Rick kind of sent him off in the courtyard and shut the gate. And we also saw that the guy had like a blue coat and blue pants on, which was what the prisoners were wearing so that kind of shows that it's more likely to be Andrew so it starts off with um, Glenn and um, Maggie banging of course no big deal just banging and it goes to Andrea and Michonne and Michonne finds the truck that the governor and his boys brought in from the army people that they killed and she sees that there's bullet holes and she sees that there's blood on it so right there she's kind of suspicious you know Michonne knows that the governor's up to something she knows that he's not a cool dude so it goes to the normal group, Rick and them guys, and they're trying to decide what they should do with the two prisoners that are left. T-Dog is the only one that wants to let them in with the group, and it kind of, it, it kind of seems like T-Dog is replacing Dale. T-Dog is the only person that's still kind of, um, you know, still sympathetic with other people. He wants to kind of, he wants them in their group. He doesn't want to just kill them. He's the new Dale, basically. And then zombies are everywhere. Everybody's shooting zombies. Herschel's out there with his one leg limping around. I'm figuring Herschel's going to die because Herschel and Beth go off by themselves. I'm figuring both them fuckers are going to die. They're screwed. And then it shows T-Dog gets bit. And uh, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. I got very sad because I'm a very big fan of T-Dog. I'm probably one of T-Dog's biggest fans because he's not a very big part, but I really like T-Dog. So he got bit. And it's like... It's the same thing that happened with Dale because Dale had this big episode, you know, where he wanted Randall to stay alive, and then at the end of the episode, they just fucked him over. They just killed him, you know. T Dog wants to keep these two prisoners alive, and then they just fuck him over. They just kill him. But they don't do it at the end of the episode. They do it where he still has time to suffer through all the biting, and we get to see him get eaten up at the end. But I'll talk about that later. Fuck, I'm kind of mad. So, Andrea is showing Merle where the, uh, the other gang is, where Merle's brother is. And, um,. Merle wants to go there. Merle's asking the governor, hey, can I go there? Can I bring some people out there? And the governor says, if you get some more inf info, I'll go with you. So I'm thinking the next episode they're going to go there with some other dudes. Or maybe they're just themselves and they're going to go find them. So the alarm's going off. Shit's going crazy. Everybody's splitting up. And then Lori all of a sudden is like, oh, shit, I'm having my baby. So Carl's leading the way. Then it switches back to Woodbury after everything fucking crazy is going on. goes back to Woodbury where everything's just fine. Then it goes back to these guys where... Lori's pushing out her baby, and there's something wrong with it, kid. She's getting blood out of her hoo-hoo, and uh, Maggie's like, there's something wrong with the baby. The so, T-Dog and Carol are going through, and T-Dog, Carol wants to kill T-Dog no, with no bullets. She doesn't have any bullets. I don't know how the hell she's going to do that. So they find two zombies, and uh, she tries to shoot. She's out of ammo. And T-Dog says no, so he goes and attacks those zombies. He lets Carol out. Uh, we didn't see where Carol went, but we saw that she got out. And then we just see uh, T-Dog get eaten. That was very hard for me to watch because I love T-Dog. And it was very hard for me to watch him get eaten like that. I did not like that. And then it goes to, it was Rick, um, the new prisoner. I forgot what his name I think it was Axel, the big black prisoner. And um, Daryl. So they're in there trying to shut the alarms off. And all of a sudden it comes, Andrew comes up and like hits Rick and hits him down. They're, all, they're fighting and then Axel picks up the gun. I think it's Axel. Picks up the gun, pointing it at Rick. And Andrew's like, yeah, shoot him. We can take over the prison. He's got the gun pointed at Rick's face. And then he quickly shoots Andrew. So right there, I, I knew he was going to shoot Andrew. I knew he wasn't going to shoot Rick. They're not going to kill Rick. So he shoots Andrew. 
And then right then I'm like, they just replaced T Dog. T Dog's been replaced. They got a new token guy. So T Dog's been replaced. Switches to Lori where she says, You got to cut me open. Okay, Lori wants to die. She says, This is how it's got to be. You got to cut me open. So it gets really emotional with Lori and Carl. Lori tells Carl how much she loves him. And then uh, they cut Lori open and get the baby, and Lori dies. Carl ends up shooting his own mother, which would be kind of a little bit hard to do, I would think. And then it shows T-Dog at the end all eaten up, which was gruesome. They have no idea where Carol is at. They actually think Carol's dead because they know that she went with T-Dog and they see her little hat. So they think Carol's dead. Carol's off. We have no idea where she is. She's, For all we know, she's probably dead because she can't really handle herself without any bullets by herself. She's probably fucked. And then, um, so I was not expecting T-Dog to die at all. I was this episode. I was expecting someone to die. I thought it was going to be Beth, and I thought it was going to be Carol or maybe Herschel, but not T Dog and Lori. Two, well, Lori's one of the biggest characters. T Dog is, um, well, he was starting to be a big character in this season, which I liked, and then they had to fuck him over like that. I thought, because I knew T Dog was going to die. Okay, he was going to die because he didn't have a big part. But I thought when when he was going to die, is when Merle meets up with him. Merle would have killed him. That would have been a lot better. I mean, not better, but. Would have made more sense, but that's how these guys like to do it. They like to keep it unpredictable and just crazy. So that's how it went. T-Dog got fucked over. Lori died. Her own son killed her. It's crazy. So next week we see in the previews Rick's going crazy. And, and you know, that's that's kind of obvious. He's going to go crazy. His wife just died and he's got a baby. He doesn't know what to do with the baby, so he's going to go crazy. And I think he might kill one of their own. And probably, I'm not even going to say Beth is going to die because Beth is... I keep saying she's going to die, but she's not going to die. So he's probably going to kill, like, Glenn or something. Some big person. He's going to kill Glenn. This this show's getting crazy, man. But And then um, the governor and Merle and the scientist are going to go and try to find the group. Scientist is going to get eaten. And at the end, I'm guessing that they're going to find the group. So that was the episode, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I'm having a little mixed feelings about it just because of their choices of murders or deaths, whatever. One of them's a murder. Her own son murdered him. But let me know what you guys thought. Subscribe, like, favorite, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later.